Hello, my name is Jesse, and today we'll be covering the Google Maps component and how to integrate it into Nagios XI. So the Google Maps component in Nagios XI can be a great asset if your organization is global and you have locations all across the globe and you don't really remember where certain servers might exist. It's good to, uh, it's good to see them on a map. So to show you how to do this, uh, the first thing that we need to do is download the Nagios XI Google Map integration component. And you can download this at the Nagios Exchange. I just Googled for um, Google Maps Nagios XI. Click on the Exchange link. And then there's a download link that'll give you a zip file. Feel free to download that as well. You can see it's a pretty short download. It's already complete. We'll go to Nagios XI, hit up the admin page, and go to Manage Components. Once you're in Manage Components, browse, go to the Downloads folder, Go to googlemaps.zip and press upload and install. And if everything goes well, the component will install. Now it'll be tracked for updates like the rest of your components. Now go to your home screen, and this is where the Google Maps component will appear, is under your Maps tab. So if we just trim down some of these other tabs to uh, help you see better, it's right here. It's under Google Map, right under Maps. So you can press that. And since we're not in the, the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean, we'll get the geocode for our address. So what I'll do is press get geocode for an address, and we'll enter our, the address of where we're at, St. Paul, Minnesota. And here's the geocode for our address. So we'll just copy this, go to set map defaults, and place those coordinates here. Hit submit once more, return to the Google map. You can see that it has, uh, it has returned to, well, it looks like it's zoomed out a little bit, but let's go back to Google map. And maybe in set map defaults, let's set the, the zoom level to 10 instead. Hit submit, return to Google Map. Okay, and we're, we've zoomed in a little bit further. I want to go in just a little bit further, so let's set the zoom level to 12. Okay, and that, that zoom level looks appropriate to me. We can see most of St. Paul, most of Minneapolis. Um, now the question remains, how to add a new host to this map? So the, uh, the answer is quite straightforward. So let's say we have a host in Little Canada. Maybe it's a router or something, and we want it to appear on this map. So the first thing we need to do is get a geocode for that address. Let's get the address for Little Canada MN. OK, it'll give us the geocode. Excellent. So we can copy this, press OK. And now we go to Configure Core Config Manager. And remember, this is where you modify the configurations of all the objects in Nagios XI. Go to Hosts. And I'll just click a host at random. Let's say this is the one in Little Canada. Go to MISC Settings. You want to put this geocode in the Notes field. So it needs to just exist in the Notes field, nothing else in the Notes field besides this address. Press Save, and be sure to apply the configuration so that becomes part of the running configuration. After it applies, we'll refresh our Google map. Click here, and you'll note that the server appears in Little Canada. And if you click it, it gives you the IP address of the server and the status output of the last check on that server as well. We can click into the details of the server and check it out. Here is everything involving 4.72. And I hope I've proven to you just how useful Google Maps integrations can be. And if you have any questions about that process, please feel free to contact us at the support forum. We're at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, please feel free to check out our related content below. Thanks.